Let's save. All right. Let's keep on trucking. Okay, you can lead the charge this time. That window is boarded up. You are welcome. So yeah, we'll just we'll just keep switching off. One of the things that I do love that they did. So they have these knight pictures here. Yes. Like pictures of knights. Because this floor in the original Resident Evil 2 was a puzzle with a bunch of knights. I remember the suit of armor, yeah. Yeah, and it was a it was just a pain in the ass. So yeah. they, they took it out. Well, it was a very simple puzzle. You had to take the thing that was there, but you couldn't do it unless you Indiana Jones swapped them out, right? Um you had to push them into a specific spot to get a, to get the red gem. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of a different knight suit puzzle. Or, I don't know. I can't remember exactly, but it was kind of a pain in the ass and I didn't really care for it. So, so they just took it out, huh? I'm kinda glad they took it out. But they put those night pictures there as kind of like a subtle reminder. Yeah, a throwback. Uh oh, there's someone there. I wonder if that's no, true. No, there isn't. It's uh, just it's, a, it's, it's a, a thing. statue. Nice. Oh, another. Uh, you don't have the 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 code. You don't know what it is. You you memorized it, haven't you? Yup. <laughs> okay, you're just skipping half the game right no, now. No, I'll do, I'll <laughs> let you figure it out. Well, it's, all right. I could figure it out just by... Th oh, you got the spade key. key! Come on, the spade key takes up so... Oh, uh, for all the improvements this game made, can you really... Hey, they wanted to keep it. They wanted to keep it the same. No, and they I, didn't. I am glad they did. No, they improved it in almost every single way. The controls are great. The graphics are great. The yeah, sound but... effects are great. The map is great. But I have eight item spots to start. Oh, there goes one. But you still have to manage your inventory. Like, this is an RPG or something, it's... If I have to give this game a bad mark at the moment, it'd probably just be... I don't like the inventory management stuff still. I like it. And, okay, you're allowed it's to so like it. better. Uh, no, it's not. Too many survivors! Uh, the liquors are blind as bats. Oh, the liquors, yep. The liquors are around the corner. Uh, don't go in like, like an idiot. Guns are blazing. You can slip right by them, probably. Make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible, yeah? Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That and I got a friend to avenge. Time to die! And then he died. Well, no, David's still alive down there. Is he? Oh, is that the one who... Oh, David is the guy who helped David you. David Branagh is the... Or no, it's Marvin Branagh. So Who's David? David's probably dead then. David is probably dead. Okay. We haven't seen Claire. Does Claire even go into the Claire's police station? somewhere. More gunpowder. <laughs> uh, so you see the guy downstairs is Marlon? Is That's Marvin, the... Marvin Branagh. Marvin. The guy downstairs. His name is Marvin. I forget who David is. So I'd like to, I'd like to imagine that... Leon shows the reason Leon and Claire never cross paths during their campaign is is because they keep it's the same person he keeps changing his clothes. Duh. So Marlon goes, "Oh, Claire, you just missed Leon. Oh, did I? I, 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 I? Maybe I'll see him next time." But it's really just Leon and Drag. Can I shoot this C4? You tell me. No, but it makes a squishy noise when you shoot it, which is funny. Is that how C4 normally works? Well, it, C4 is like Play-Doh. Isn't it combustible, though? C4 is a tangry Play-Doh. <laughs> yes. Some, Some guys, guys scribbling. Damn those corporate assholes. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me up. After all, I'm done for them. But if this is how it's going to be, so be it. Going to have a little fun. My own as the world goes to shit. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and get some C4. And now I gotta detonate it and say, Sayonara, suckers! All I gotta do is detonate it, and it's, Sayonara, suckers! <laughs> but it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll kill him a little... Or maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, Kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. Yell about justice and pride and... Not sticking your dick into a toaster. But how many times did you go against me? Your own superior. Oh, this guy's the superior, huh? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, this is fun. I need some music for this. What set this guy down this deranged road? What made him... Ooh, yay, a hip pouch. Yay, two more item spaces. Of course. Those are nice. Those are so nice. All right, well, I know this is the other thing. I love that they put little icons for the map. If you walk up to something and pick and like look at it, but don't pick it up, it tells you you left it there. That is so useful. And it saves you from running around and having to consult guides. I used to, I used to literally have a map drawn of every single one of the floors of the police station in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> and I would write down where every item was so that I could try to speed run Resident Evil 2. <laughs> I didn't realize you loved the game that much. I loved Resident Evil 2. I mean, I thought it was good, but it... It's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. 
That's not a yes. Be right there. That wasn't a yes, Marvin. Nope. <laughs> nope. Leon, back up the ladder. Back up the ladder. Back in the ladder again. Well, he's just having a little meal. He doesn't. He doesn't need your interruption. It's fine. Yeah, he does. God damn it. God damn it. What, Leon? You gotta finish your cursing. Okay. There we go. So that's it. You just gotta shoot him in the leg and then run past him. Yeah, pretty much. Save ammo. But he's still alive. He's still a threat, right? Look how little of a threat he is now. Uh, I suppose as long as you don't... Okay, yeah, he's dying. Did I hear a different gurgly groan? Yeah, there's more than one in here. But you've killed him, so he's not a threat anymore. And there's a jack. Floor jack! <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you come from? Is that the thing that you're supposed to do in the game? Just This is what I always do. It's a good way to conserve ammo. True enough. What? Hold on a second. This is what you always do. There's we've hold on. We have killed at least twenty zombies so far, right? I don't know. And I used the knife, the basic knife, to knife one of those guys, and it was down to half condition. So you could get maybe two or three kills with that knife, and then it's broken. Yes. So how would you do this? How would you do this? You're, you'd be wasting the knife if you did not have the infinite condition knife right now you would have to use all of your ammo on these guys well also what i would do um i'll show i'll show you on uh the next zombie i see what the other what i did before i had the infinite knife okay like this guy right here uh okay. if he's uh if he's a zombie see a zombie nope he's twitching but no i guess not what about you you zombie nope huh <laughs> what about you you zombie yeah, he's definitely a zombie he is definitely 100% a Zambi. Tubbs McGee? Yeah, that's him. Oh, you a Zambi. Yeah, he, he's definitely... You can tell by the way he was positioned. He's a Zambi. So he, this is this is what I would usually do. He's a Zamboni. Shoot that. And then shoot... And the shoot his arm. <laughs> and now, he has a really hard time moving, so you can just kind of scoot away from him. Look at this. At a walking pace, you can get away from him. <laughs> wow. If okay. you shoot, If you can shoot the same arm on the same... Or if you can shoot the... Left and left arm and left leg, or right arm and right leg, they can barely move after you. Wow. Book! Hey, a red book. We'll check that out when we're not in the room with a gross guy. Sorry, I'm, I know you're gross though. Sorry, take a I'll shower. Come, I'll come back later. Marvin wanted me to do stuff, but, uh. <laughs> yeah, Marvin did ask you to come back, didn't he? Yeah, he did, but also, I'm busy. <laughs> Spade key, club. No, gunpowder. Uh. Um, why don't I put two of them together? Look at that, 15 bullets. Wow, you didn't have to use lead or primers or anything. Yeah, it totally works like that in real life. It doesn't work like that. Also, you didn't pick up the jack, the the, the crank jack thing. Oh, no, I couldn't pick it up. It was asking me if I wanted to use something on it. Oh. I, I didn't have anything to use. Okay. Um, officer's notebook. Okay, so... Uh, unicorn is Pisces, Scorpio, and Virgo. Uh, I did not realize you were so... Familiar with astrology? Pisces. Well, it's two fish. Uh, it's so, Pisces. Uh, well, I would. How would you? How do you remember Pisces is two fish? Uh, Pi is fish and Cs is two. Okay. That's. <laughs> I, I would. I, I, I just always remember that Pisces is two fish. I'm assuming it's more related to Latin for fish, which is pesca. So. Oh, probably. Yeah. Pisces, Scorpio, obviously. Scorpion is scorpion, and, and Virgo is a bucket of water. Why? Uh, because I, somehow I remember that Virgo is like a woman carrying a jug. Oh, okay. A virgin carrying a jug, maybe? I guess, yeah. Okay. Hey! Yay! We got the unicorn medallion. One out of three. So, oh, God, I'm filling up the inventory again. Got one. Oh, wait, did I even check this door? I don't think you did, no. Oh, it's locked. No, uh, so, that's a waste. Which is useful because now my map tells me it's that door locked? is locked. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we got that book, didn't we? Did we? Did we not check it out? I haven't checked it yet. Let's examine the book. It's a war. Oh, it's a piece of plastic. Oh, so it's not a book. It's not a book. It's a piece of plastic with an indentation. Oh, it's missing a piece. Okay. Speaking of which, do you remember? He was. Oh, there was a statue holding yeah, a book in the scepter. See? Oh, so we're not missing a piece in the book. That's just where it goes in his hand. Yes. Ah! <laughs> he surprised me. <laughs> Kick him, Leon. Or don't. That's fine. It's, thank God. Is there... So, on the hardest difficulty in this game, is it 
one bite you die like it would be in the canon of the game? Um, I don't remember. I don't think so. There's probably a mode where you get bitten once and you, you have to... Yeah, there's a mode where it's just like impossibly difficult, more ammo. Yeah, I was concerned you wouldn't be able to do much if you didn't have the infinite condition knife, but it, the game is throwing ammo at you left and right, so I'm not... I... Uh, for a bit it is. Um, oh, do I have do I have one more inventory space? I do, so I can actually probably nab this one too while we're here. Sure. Oh, okay. And lion was lion branch bird. And bird, yeah. Are those also astrological symbols? I don't. Well, lion could be Leo. I don't know what the branch would be. Maybe Sat. No, Sagittarius would be the archer. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what the branch would be. Uh, Cancer, Pisces... It would be a crab if it was Cancer. Uh, I'm, I'm just going through all the lists in my head. I don't know what the, that one would be or I, this one would I, be. Dear, I can't remember all of the astrological signs. I'm cycling through the Weird Al song in my head trying oh my to God. remember them. <laughs> Alright, we got some emblems. There you are. Come here. Take a look. Yep, that's a computer. He looks like me at 3 in the morning when yes. I'm still looking at porn. Knew she'd make it. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, just yeah. slowly nice typing plan. keys in. Into town with her. You can get to that courtyard through the second floor, east side. Do you know her? Ah, uh, yeah, I know her for like five seconds, and then we got split up again. Yeah. Thanks, Lieutenant. Also, He's, would you like an herb? Would you like an herb? I could get you an herb. You're not looking so hot. You need a first aid spray. Spray him, Leon. No, you, you, you're a jerk. Medallion. And that's one. Oh. And so we got one more. Right. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. Here, let me put this next one in, and then we can squeeze through. Or maybe. Wait, can you squeeze through? If they... Hold on, let's see. I want to see this. Hold on. No. No, I super can't. Okay. I thought. All right. Well, I'll get the other one later. <laughs> I thought maybe it would. Raise up a little bit more, it looked like you'd be able to squeeze through the gap, then one of you would try and crawl through and he'd get bisected, but nope. And I realized I could be using these infinite ammo guns, but also no. That would just make it way too easy, though. It would make it way too easy. So. Alright, so now I have to go outside. What are we doing now? What is the primary goal? Um, Claire is outside. Oh, <laughs> I have yes. to go meet up with Claire. But how do you get outside? Uh, this way. Okay. I think. Right, uh, right here. Oh, she's just gonna wait for you to come by the fire escape. Yes. Okay, let's go grab Claire then. Did you know, while we are the home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall <laughs> remind us of a bygone era. I see. This is how they retroactively justify all these stupid puzzles being in here. Yeah. <laughs> Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation. With the help of generous donations from businesses and, city from businesses and citizens alike, the building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. My ass it does. So, someone's making a lot of racket back there. Key. You no longer need to use this key. Will you throw it away? Okay, never mind. No, it just puts a little red check mark on it. Helicopter. All right, we're going to be rescued. And grab a board so you can board up the doors. Uh, maybe not. Nope, can't use that. But you can grab the board and board up a window. If you find one. So there was a scene in the original one where a guy, like, I think it was Elliot, actually. He tries to meet the helicopter on the roof, and then Elliot gets attacked by zombies, and he falls over and shoots an MP5 into the air, and the MP5 shoots the helicopter, and the helicopter crashes. I remember that. Yeah, that's not in this one. It's kind of stupid now that you think, say it out loud, you know? It is pretty stupid. The ruby! Uh, it's, a, it's about a ruby and something about Caligula, and also the weapons card key, or the weapons key card locker. You can get the shotgun! I yes. I don't, also don't, I don't think I can actually break this. It looks like you could, but no, it doesn't look like you are able to. No, I wonder if that's just a reference to Resident Evil 4. Is it? Because you break open crates and stuff? Yeah. Statue's left arm! That broke off, huh? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah! Then... Oh, he's already got the scepter! You don't even have to find a scepter, wow. Well, no, I want the thing that's in the scepter. 
Or I want the scepter, apparently. Okay. Oh, that's... Yes, free scepter. It's not how stone works, but okay. No, it super isn't, but whatever. And now you have the jewel, a pricey looking gemstone. I have the pricey looking gemstone. And now we have to find a bust of a lion and put that in as one of its eyes. I'm, uh, s I'm thinking of Resident Evil 3, maybe? Or maybe? Code Veronica? I think you're thinking of Code Veronica. I might be thinking of the remake. Hey! Um, that seems okay. Did something crash? Uh, was it the helicopter? What? Oh! <laughs> it was the helicopter! It was the helicopter! Uh, wait, that's the way we wanted to go, wasn't it? Well, uh, well, I guess we're going this way now. Wait, do I have any more inventory space? No. Shoot, I don't. Well, I guess we're leaving that behind. Oh, here, let me... Touch. There we go. So, so you know it's there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Man, those drunken helicopter pilots. Aw, oh, drunk Billy the helicopter pilot was at it again! Claire! Hold on, I'll be right there. Okay! Hurry up, I'm getting wet, I don't have my umbrella! Corporation! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Get us pulling on a few more times, Claire, that'll work. Claire. It's so nice to see you. You, you don't even know her! The helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. <laughs> That's all that matters. You don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. I do have a key in one of those fancy oh, pockets, but it doesn't go to this door. No, just surviving. <laughs> Being casual. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. I'm getting soaked. Oh god! <laughs> Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. You know, you could probably climb up the fence. She probably could, actually. Is it like barbed wire at the top? If it was barbed wire, then just throw a piece of carpet over it. Or your jacket. Pro tip, if you need to get over barbed wire, just bring like a piece of carpet with you. Just like remnant. Just throw it over there, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can totally get over that. There's a ladder right there, too! Marvin, do you copy? Oh, yeah, there is. Damn it! It's <laughs> ridiculous. You can find something to double as carpet. It'd be fine. Yeah. Like this board right here, you might be able to use that. Oh, you can double stack the. Okay, that's just kind of silly. Yeah, sure. A key takes up the same amount of space as two wooden planks. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, well, I guess we're getting rid of this knife. Fine. For these bolt cutters. You got bolt cutters as well. You sure you can't cut a hole for? No, okay. Yeah, I couldn't have just cut a hole in the fence for her. <sighs> okay. Oh, we're back here again. Remember this place? Nope, I forgot already. I remember being here. I remember here. Is that guy? Oh, that guy's still alive. Uh, no, he's dead. No, not he's that still dead. guy. Ah! <laughs> That's the one. That guy's still alive, because you didn't do a good job killing him, Mike! <laughs> yeah, did you did you not see him crawling around on the ground when you came in? No! Really? <laughs> Alright, we'll scoot by him. We'll board up this window. Oh! Shit! Hurry up and board it up! Hurry up before he comes in all the way! Push him back out! <laughs> there you go. There. Get back out there. No, you're not allowed to be in here anymore. No, no, didn't you see me put the boards up? I got sturdy legs. You run track? You must have run track. You weightlifter, maybe? Powerlifting. You must have consumed a lot of milk, right? Strong bones. You can't even cut off his limbs. He's already dead. You wasted so many bullets. You wasted so many bullets just knocking him down. Gotta Let's make, make sure, sure he's dead. Yep, gotta make sure he's dead. Yeah, so. What, what I said about weaponizing nostalgia. They made it so shooting them in the head is actually one of the least effective ways to kill them. Come on! That's not how it's Occasionally to be. you'll get a crit when you shoot them in the head and their whole head will just explode. Yeah. But it's way more common with shotguns than it is with pistols. Mm hmm. For All pistols, right. you just gotta shoot them in the leg. Man, I feel like they missed a real opportunity because even though Leon's not a badass yet, you still could stagger him in the leg and then uppercut him or something. It'd still be cool. 
Like, I'm just a sucker for that kind of thing, you know? I Let's love... Let's up this window real fast. Good idea. I'm telling you, though, it's the... The best part of Resident Evil is shooting an enemy in the leg, and then it gives you a prompt to... <laughs> Good. Good timing there. It gives you a prompt to uppercut them, or snap their neck, or kick them in the face. Ooh, a flash grenade. That's handy. Mm. I'm gonna leave it for right now. Because I think there's there's more important things in here, technically. The, the, the character in Resident Evil 5 that was a DLC character, if you staggered him in the leg and you got behind him and meleeed him, you'd actually suplex them. Yeah. <laughs> I vaguely remember that now that you mention it. Yeah. And you could, in Resident Evil 5, you could combo melees. So you shoot him in the arm and you punch him towards your teammate and they kick him back towards you. And then you do a super uppercut that knocks their entire face into the stratosphere. God, it was so good. Yeah, but you like hokey games like I that. I do, it was so good. I like hokey games like that. <laughs> ah, to a point! <laughs> fat guy! It's not the fat that you're fat that stunned us. It's the fact that you were biting into our neck. We don't appreciate that. Okay, and I got your knife back. Okay, what are we doing now? We're, we're going, okay, we Well, first I'm gonna put this thing in here. That opened right. that. So that opened the grate, so now I can get back into the main area. All right, so uh, Marvin down here? Mar Mar well, Marvin's in here somewhere. Martin? He's probably not doing so hot though. Still bleeding out. All right, store that, store that, keep that, keep that, keep that, store this. And I think there's one or two more items in here I could probably grab. Hold on, what, what do you have? What's your current goal right now? Um, I can't remember. Okay, just run around until you find all the items you need. Ooh, gunpowder. Gunpowder. That guy's crawling on the ground. We got the two flashbangs. Eh, he'll be fine. Yeah, we are. Um, oh, and I'm missing an herb. Oop. <laughs> just loop around him. God, zombies are stupid. <laughs> and there's the yellow powder. The hell, that's new. The yellow, uh, the yellow powder you mix with the normal gunpowder to make shotgun shells. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the herb. What does the yellow powder do on its? Oh, what, can it, what else uh, can it mix two, with? I think two yellow powders makes magnum rounds. Oh. None of that makes sense, but we're not gonna question it. It's resonant. Oh, come oh, on! Oh, for God's sake! How many bullets do I have to put into you, man? <laughs> Apparently more than what you already did. You gotta get that knife back. There you go. Oh. There's also an achievement that I was working on and then I decided that I didn't really care that much. I get those from time to time. Which was, um... Stab 100 enemies in the face. No, it was complete the game in under 10,000 steps. Jeez, that's arbitrary and annoying. Who was your favorite character out of every Resident Evil character? Because we've got Leon and Chris and Claire and Ada and Wesker and uh, Barry and... Probably Jill. Yeah? What what's your justification why why you like Jill the most? Jill's a badass. She is. She's a strong female protagonist. Oh, is that still alive? For now. Well, this was a triumph. <laughs> I'm making a note here. Huge yeah. success. Yeah, he's he's still not dead. Is this the last door we use that on? I think it might be. Yes. That was the last time I needed to use that key. Goodbye, you space waster. Seriously, the keys don't take up a whole... You just put them on a key ring, it's fine. Yeah, I, I do kind of wish that the keys weren't a individual item. But, what are you going to do? I did not want to go in here. Uh, I think I... It's a real shame. I think Sheva doesn't get the love she deserves. Oh, Sheva was great, actually. Yeah, a lot of people were down on Re Resident Evil 5 when it first came out. Because it wasn't that innovative. It was just Resident Evil 4 with teammates. Yeah. And it was it's fine to, to have that criticism, but Sheva was a well-designed, fun character. She didn't get a whole lot of character development, but ah! didn't give her a chance, you know? And now she shows up in written logs and stuff. Ah, crap. I should have been a little faster. Yeah, you should have been, but you weren't. Hey, that guy's got a life vest on. It's, uh, it's ironic, because... Oh, it's not a life vest. It's just a safety vest. Well, that means that means he can't possibly get shot. Yeah. <laughs> at least no. At least I know no one will run him over. You're you're getting swarmed by a lot of enemies suddenly, aren't you? Yeah, it's all right. I just wanted to. I needed to sprint through here real quick. Yeah, save ammo for future use. Hello. 
Detonator, electronic gadget, good for detonating C4. Ah, yes, we found that C4. So now we could utilize this. Uh huh. It's mm. missing a battery. Go figure. Oh. So we need to find locker room. Cap. Ah, cap is the code in the locker room. And flashbang. We haven't used those yet. Oh, those are for liquors, aren't they? Flashbangs are flashbangs are pretty much for liquors. If I yeah, in Resident Evil Five, flashbangs were good against liquors as well. I remember that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I think I, I think the last time I beat this game, I beat this game in like in under three saves. I only saved three times. I suppose once you've memorized where everything is, you don't have to do all this backtracking. Yeah. So you know the oh, you got the card for this thing. Yes. You can get the shotgun because it was just sitting on a counter. Yes. Oh, Shotgun. Remington 870. Yeah, it is W870. One of the things I did also really like about this Shotgun, was Shotgun, that Shotgun. you do get mods for the weapons. Weapon mods. And I really like that when you get mods for the weapons, you can actually take the mods off. Oh, that that's nice. Also, I love that they actually had the sling go all the way around him. They actually put the shotgun on a sling and didn't make it just hover on his whoa, back. Whoa! I know, isn't that nuts? We we are in some weird future generation tech here already. That is pretty crazy. What? I mean, granted, the the sling comes off the moment you equip the weapon, but when you put the weapon on your back, it's just it's actually slung onto your back. Yeah, that's nice. How crazy is that? That is really really top quality. Although you, you you praise the ability to take off weapon mods, is there ever a time you want to do that? Like, oh no, um, my weapon you, has too much capacity. I'm wasting ammo. If you, for example, if you have the stock on this shotgun and you don't want the magazine tube extension, so that the shotgun only takes up one space instead of two spaces. Oh, it actually root. Oh. You can remove. You can also remove the mod that makes this pistol burst fire. Which then just converts it back to this, so it only takes up one space instead of two. Ah, so what you're saying is they give you some pretty cool weapon mods, but because the inventory is still kind of crap, they make you take it off, because you gotta juggle your inventory. You don't have to take that off, you just can. Yeah, you can, and uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm, maybe I'm being harsh on the inventory stuff, but I, I get really tired of my inventory being full of stuff I need to have. Look at your inventory right now. You've got one plot item you've, out of your 10 slots. You you, you can't use 10% of it, whatever. Ugh. It can be a pain. I was playing The Long Dark the other day, and it feels... I, I had actually crafted myself the wolf jacket and the bear... Well, not the bear stuff. I, I had crafted the wolf jacket and mm -hmm. the deer boots and the deer... Uh, pelt and the rabbit hat and that stuff is really warm, but it also was really weighty. Oh, I'm assuming it's very heavy. Yeah, so I had 35 kilograms of inventory space and my clothing took up 25 kilograms oh, essentially. Geez. And so well, yeah, so between my my clothing and my knife crowbar and hatchet and everything else all the stuff that I need when I'm going out for an expedition, I didn't have I had like five kilograms worth of space to grab stuff to bring it back. It, it's such a waste. I I intentionally have to leave good clothing behind or tools I might need. Like I could bring my. It's a big risk. Why don't I leave my sleeping system here? Like it, it'll clear up a kilogram or two of inventory space. Yeah. But but if I find myself in the middle of nowhere and I need to rest, then I'm just screwed. So it's always a trade off. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I understand what you mean. So we'll come back later and maybe do some more zombie shooting. More shooting zombies. Yeah. Maybe I'll just waste all your ammo before you come back. What if no. I do? You have to use a knife. That's not the knife. That's... <laughs> you threw a flashbang. You had that equipped instead of the knife? Why would you ever decrypt the knife? Because then I can use the flashbang as an emergency item. Oh, fair enough. Not so dark anymore, are you, dark room? Oh, you underhand. Ah! Damn it, Mike. <laughs>